Hey guys, this is a quick video about how to install acoustic foam. I just finished installing what you see behind me and uh, I'll be installing the rest of the room as well. Uh, it took me quite a few different tries. I watched quite a few videos on YouTube about how to install acoustic foam. The number one thing I can tell you is don't bother using spray adhesive. Uh, no matter how long it takes for you. For me, it took two days for it to fall down, even one day in, uh, in one case. But uh, just from talking to other people as well, eventually it'll be all on the floor. Even if it's a year down the road, um, spray adhesive just doesn't last. So don't bother with it. It stinks. Um, it's a pain in the ass. It gets all, all over everything. And uh, if you don't want to ruin your walls, it's another, it's another good case for not uh, using spray adhesive. So don't bother with that. What I ended up using in terms of adhesives was some PL200. Now this stuff's only around $4 a tube or less. Um, if you don't have a caulking gun, which you'll need, you can just use some regular wood glue, uh, which I did end up using as well. Um, so grab some wood glue if you don't feel like using a caulking gun. Um, and you'll need some hammers, some nails. I also tried uh, using double-sided tape and this stuff doesn't stick either. Uh, basically, it sticks to your wall real well, but sticking to the tiles, it doesn't stick well at all. So you're gonna need those items and some corrugated plastic. Now I bought a big sheet of corrugated plastic, which I'm gonna show to you in a minute. I've cut it up, but um, I bought a big sheet at Home Depot. Uh, the sheet is uh, 48 inches by 96 inches, so it's pretty large. You can cut it up there before you take it home so you can fit it in your car and whatnot. Uh, that sheet was around 25 bucks, might be cheaper where you live, um, and that's what I used to put my tiles on. I would glue the tiles on, and I'm going to show you that in one second. Um, and once it's on that corrugated sheet, you can use two nails and quickly tack it onto your wall. Those little holes in the wall are easily repaired so you don't end up ruining your walls. Um, behind what you see behind me, I have spray adhesive all over these walls. You can see it in the shine. I'll have to end up sanding it if I ever take this stuff down um, because uh, the, the adhesive is clearly there and it does mess up your walls. So I'm gonna show you how I did this and how easily you can do it as well. So this is the uh, corrugated plastic I was talking about. It's the same thing they make uh, lawn signs out of. Um, this piece right here is 48 inches, sorry, 24 inches by 48 inches long. Um, and this is the same size that I used to do those side panels you saw in the, uh, in the recording studio. Um, so I don't need any more of those large side panels, so I'm gonna be cutting this up to make some diamonds, um, or just squares, I should say. So grab a straight edge, any kind of ruler you have. This one I'm only going to be measuring out to be 12 inches and it doesn't need to be exact. So anything close to 12 inches is fine. Um, and you can use more than 12 inches if you want. For me, I'm just trying to conserve this plastic because I don't really feel like going and getting another, another piece. So it cuts real easy if you have a sharp knife and use that for some more later. Basically cutting out one square foot of this plastic stuff. And measure it out, cut it. Make sure you have something to uh, protect your floors. So now that you have this, you're gonna wanna cover it in glue um, I'm just using the wood glue right now because I don't want to open up a new can of PL200. But just do a easy pattern. Make sure that most of it is covered. And that's all you need to do. Like that. And then grab your acoustic foam and make sure that if you're doing what I'm doing, which is going to be uh, four square panel, make sure that you center everything perfectly so that it's got around six inches to grab onto. 
Some of these pieces still sticky from the glue that I used before, but obviously not sticky enough. The spray glue, which is the worst. All right, so place those on there. Make sure they're nice and tight. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the camera here. Once you have that, put something on top of it and let it dry for the night. Um, give it at least 24 hours. Here's one that I have done from yesterday. And uh, as you can see on the back, it's a little bit difficult to pick up, but it's nice and adhered to. So now all you gotta do is uh, Place it wherever you want and nail it into the wall. So I'm gonna be doing that next, but basically a nail's gonna go through here and a nail's gonna go through here. And because this is so stiff, that's it. It'll stay up. Now with these panels you see in my studio, there's only two nails holding up this panel over here. Two nails holding that one up. Now the nails I use for these ones are a bit bigger, but it's only two nails, so it's great and uh, super easy. All right, so as you can see, um, this isn't the panel I was just working on. This is uh, a side strip that I did for this corner. Um, you wanna make sure that you have your corners covered because uh, a lot of base goes in there, so you can buy base traps. Um, for me, I'm using the panels and um, you can see the difference in, in this versus this. This is Oralex foam. This is um, some, some sort of generic pad. The NRC is a lot higher on the Oralex foam, so I make sure to put the Oralex in the corners so that the base is reduced the most. I also got these from a local foam shop, and I ended up using double-sided tape, gluing the double-sided tape to the foam, and then the tape sticks to the wall just fine, but it won't stick to the... Uh, to the foam at all. Uh, it might initially, but it's not going to. So as you can see, I've got this small strip on the back of this panel. I'm just gonna put this on here. Make sure it's nice and flush. And then I've got two small nails. Just push those in there, grab your hammer. Boom, that's it. So definitely, uh, definitely an easy way to install foam. Not much damage and uh, I recommend it, it's, it's the best.